Hey, so what's up everybody? It's Frank with Frank's Garage. We out here at Glen Helen. I'm um, still hurt, so I'm not riding. As I came out on a Tuesday. I had some errands to run out here, but uh, I'm gonna come out here, get some footage, try to fly my drone a little bit. It's not too windy. It's a really nice day, but it's really hot. So a bunch of people are leaving, but if you guys ever see me out here, uh, let me know. Maybe I could do a little drone chase or something if I have batteries left, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Big props to all the people out here riding, man. It's hot. All right, what's up, everybody? This is Frank with Frank's Garage. Um, in today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to actually do a little bit of voiceover over this uh, copyright music provided to us by YouTube Studio. I don't really have any other ideas because the drone doesn't record very good sound. I mean, it does record sound, but it's pretty much just like the drone and the propeller is going. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm always open to feedback. If you guys want to just listen to that, then that's cool too. But I usually, if, I, if I'm going to be chasing someone specifically, what I will do is give them a GoPro and then I'll just use the GoPro footage to get, you know, this way I can kind of, it looks like I'm following you, but you can still hear the dirt bike in the background or the motorcycle whatever I may be recording but um anyways yeah let's get back to this track here so this is my first time ever recording or like flying my drone in a in a public environment with other people so I was a little bit nervous but I wasn't doing anything crazy or flying too close to people but I was still able to get some decent footage uh, if you see yourself in the video feel free to comment down there or let me know that's pretty cool yeah I see I can get them doing some pretty cool stuff or if you don't want to be in my video, you can always tell me as well. I'll find a way to blur you out or something. But um, anyways, this is a DJI FPV drone. It flies pretty fast. Uh, I was able to keep up with these bikes, sort of. It's just my piloting skills aren't that good yet. I was scared of wires and stuff. You got to be careful with those wires and trees. And but uh, overall, it wasn't too bad. Once I got a little bit of comfortable out there and like the shakiness got out of my hands, I got a little more comfy started trying to get a little bit closer I would like to come out one of these days and like follow somebody a little bit closer you know kind of get an idea that the tracks a little more empty or you know just do some some sort of chase I'm sure somebody would like some footage out there but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna fly up over here over the uh, finish line at Glen Helen at the main track and kind of look over at everything it was kind of an empty day that day it was pretty hot and uh, yeah, there you go. As you can see, there's there's a big old Glen Helen turn. We got, I think those super minis were out there that day practicing for their motos for the for the uh, mammoth races. Uh, you're gonna see me. You're gonna see me come up this little mountain here, following following the little super minis, trying to get a little bit closer, but still, you know, maintaining a safe distance. Okay, so today's objective is to learn how to chase people on dirt bikes using my drone. So uh, I'm going to keep talking and probably bore you. So if you get tired of listening to me talk and ramble on about probably most people, you can um, feel free to open up another tab and put your favorite song and enjoy my not so professional drone piloting at Glen Helen Raceway. But, um, but yeah, here, let me let me kind of uh, narrate what I'm doing. So, you know, so I'm kind of ripping a little drone here. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a cool little clip of these guys jumping, bat, bat, you know. Make it up over the hill. You know, I'm like, oh, dude, there's wires there. Oh, I'm going to go into the wires. Oh, man, there's a bush. Bam, almost hit that pole. 
as you saw, but I was able to avoid hitting it. That would have been a long walk to go pick up my drone. But, uh, but yeah, look at me. I'm getting a little more comfortable. I'm going in between the trees. I'm going under the wires, you know. But, uh, but, but again, you know, I don't, I don't have a full sense of what's going on around me, so I, I need to be very careful flying this thing around. I also don't want to, you know, impede traffic or cause a nuisance for people out there practicing. But I'm um, trying my best, you know, to stay high and close to, to riders. But, uh, but yeah, check it out. Look at me. I'm going between these little trees. You know, I'm starting to feel a little comfy, feel a little pro. I'm like, all right, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this little dude here just ripping. Yeah, he goes over the mountain. I'm kind of taking my time. You know, okay, here, here, we're gonna get good footage. There, there you go. Yeah, see, I'm not doing too bad. I, uh, I still, I still got to figure out how to, you know, catch up and get really close to these people. But yeah, everybody starts somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little take here, turn around. Probably, probably go find somebody else to chase. But, oh, oh I, don't, I don't know why I did that, but okay, yeah, yeah, we're coming back home now. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I was getting a little, a little nervous, so I decided I'd bring it back home, drink some water, and I'll take a little breather. There I am. That's me. That's me flying my drone. Yeah, it's 100% hyper focused in the zone. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it in, take my little break and uh, send this thing right back up in the air. I, uh, I hesitate a little bit here because I'm actually putting the drone into manual mode. That's where you go pretty much from beginner mode to you gotta kind of have a sense of how to fly a FPV drone if you're gonna put it into the uh, quote unquote manual mode. But um, you're gonna see here I switched like the camera and angle, everything switches on the actual drone. This is all like a little user friendly parts of the drone. Yeah, here, I'm going to take off again. Uh, go up this little mountain. Uh, I actually, I added the... I think you guys noticed, I added a little thing in the back. Yeah, I was able to actually pull the um, footage from the drone where you can hear the little drone taking off. Every once in a while, you can hear the motorcycles in the background, but it's mostly just propeller noise from the drone. But um, but yeah, let's let's go back to this to this little chase here. As you can see, I'm starting to get a little, little more comfy. I got, oh, I got a little close to the bushes there. I was going to try to pull this little shot off, but I ended up completely missing the angle. But uh, that's cool. I'll come back around and keep trying it. This time I didn't go under the cables, as you can tell. I got a little sneak peek of the vet track. Man, there's a nice aerial view of the Glen Helen main track. Uh, I'm going to go back over here and, yeah, just keep following people. Uh, I'm kind of running out of ideas to talk about, so I think I'm just going to let you guys listen to the propeller noise and watch the rest of my video. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and my content. I'm going to keep trying to do some more of this drone footage. I will be trying to hit up some more tracks in Southern California as well as just, I mean, just getting any, any, any footage in general with my drone. But yeah, make sure if you guys haven't already, you guys subscribe to my content. Of course, only if you like it and give a like to my video if you did like it. But anyways, we'll see you on the next video. And thanks again for checking out Frank's Garage. Do-do-do!